Iowa Live. From the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, welcome to Iowa Live. I am Lou, and we're always excited when Kalina Bunnell from New Horizon Academy comes over because we know we're going to have fun because she brings all this cool stuff with her. Kalina, good to see you. Good to see you. No, we're going to talk about something that is really important when it comes to childhood and child care and the growth of a child, and that is learning through outdoor activities at New Horizon Academy. First of all, tell everybody about New Horizon and Academy and where your locations are. Yeah, so we're located downtown off Southwest 9th um, over in West Des Moines off University in Johnston off 62nd and then we have two locations over in Pella. Um, we are enrolling for children six weeks through preschool, so getting ready to go off to kindergarten um, and really we have um, really wonderful outdoor spaces at each and every one of our centers, so you'll see wonderful playgrounds at all of our locations um, and we know that children learn best when they're outside and they're moving and they're able to interact um, in nature. So we often think about the gross motor benefits um, at a playground, but we can also incorporate some um, regular um, activities that you do every day when we are outside. So we have great outdoor classrooms where our teachers actually take the learning outside. So they're reading, they're doing math activities, um, we do a lot of our STEAM activities outside, and we know that this increases physical activity over time, but it also reduces stress um, within children so they're able to kind of learn and comprehend a little bit more. Um, and it supports creativity and problem solving as well. In some of our centers, our kids, if it's nice enough outside, I know the Iowa weather is kind of iffy. You're right. Um, they actually will nap Whoa, outside. Whoa, look at that. They perform. They, we have great stages. They put on talent shows. Um, this stage is one of our most popular. Wow. Um, um, so self-esteem comes from our outdoor spaces, Absolutely. a wide variety of things. But we're also talking about uh, involving yourself in nature, in the outdoors, yes. and you have some activities. Yeah, so all of these things we do in our centers on our great playgrounds, but you can do all of these at home okay. very simply. So first, we have some sand, and you can have a sandbox, you can have something very small, maybe you're um, playing with on your deck or your patio. This is just kinetic sand, so it focuses kinetic on sand. those okay. fine motor skills. Um, you can build with it and this is really neat. Trace, I like this. Yeah, trace letters and numbers into it. Um, there's a lot of great books that are about the beach that you could tie into that. Mm -hmm. We also have water. So this um, has some boats in it mm -hmm. and you can do some sink or float activities within that. You could never float your boat. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah whatever. You could dye um, the water a different color. You could mix those two colors for a science activity. Um, just a wide variety of things. Um, and then we talk about everyday things. So chalk bubbles. Right. Um, kids love doing both of those and also gardening, um, just going on a walk. Um, and while you're on a walk, we have some great printables on our website, newhorizonacademy.net. Mm -hmm. And this is under the resources tab. So um, there's a great leaf activity where you can take a clipboard and a pencil and um, it's called a leaf hunt. So you can, as you're walking, Look at that. You there can, you go. Yeah, you get a picture of the leaf that you're searching for, and maybe you can collect those as you check them off, take them back home, and do some nice leaf rubbing activities with those. Nice. We also have an animal tracker um, that can accompany you on a walk, and so this shows different um, paw prints of a wide variety of animals that may be living outside near your home. Yeah, you see the dogs and the cats, you know that raccoons are probably very common as well. And Definitely. Rabbits and, uh, and skunks. Yeah. You know, it's Hopefully not too close not to Not too close house. to it. You just see the tracks. Yeah, not the skunk, yeah. Right? And you can talk <laughs> about um, what tracks are big, which tracks are small. We also have a great outdoor adventure. So that's just encouraging children to move around, jumping over a puddle, finding three kinds of leaves, um, bouncing on a log, dancing in the grass. Having fun. Yeah, having fun. And you can um, kind of tailor these to whatever age your child is um, to really draw them into and in being in the outdoors, having fun, and just getting your family moving in a different way. Right, and also you can start uh, looking for various things that are out there. Maybe bugs would yeah. be something that could be fun to look for. Yeah, so that's also something as you're on your walk, maybe you have a challenge with your child. Let's find five bugs. And um, you can collect those bugs. Maybe you're making a 
a journal about them. Mm -hmm. They can color, they can count, different things like Speaking that. Speaking of animals that you're going to spot, how about birdies? Yeah, so we have a really great... Look at um, this. <laughs> we're a bird watching expedition. So um, you can create these binoculars with your child at home. Um, two toilet paper tubes, okay. some duct tape, some twine, um, and a hole punch. So very simple. And then we've decorated these with some bird stickers, uh, obviously. Let me, let me see, the, let me yeah. see the, the, the birdie binocular. I see a live studio audience in here. My goodness. <laughs> yes, and who's the live studio audience that's here with My us? My two kids are yes. here with us, Liam and Madden. And excellent. Well, welcome to the program. <laughs> but this is a lot of fun, and you can really get all the information you need. You mentioned on your website. Yeah, newhorizonacademy.net. Um, we have a great bird watching journal. Um, it's loaded with stuff, so they can draw a picture. Um, they can draw what they're observing. And you can download this. Yep, download, download this. this and print it for free. Um, and use your binoculars as you're kind of searching, or maybe you're using the binoculars when you're doing your animal tracking there you or go. just Perfect. having some fun outside. How fun is that? So people want to get more information about how to get your kids enrolled in New Horizon Academy. Uh, one more time, give everybody yeah. the details. NewHorizonAcademy.net. You can reach out to all of our centers in the metro and in Pella to set up a tour. All of our center directors would be happy to show you nice. around, show you these great outdoor classrooms and our wonderful playgrounds. That is awesome. So great to see you again. Yes, Thank you, you so too. much for the great information. I love the bird watching stuff because when we come Come back everybody we're going to be visiting with the blank park zoo and they released a whole bunch of birds in the discovery center and they need your help maybe yeah. get these binoculars take your binoculars with you to help find them to spot them and take some pictures of them we're going to find out all about that when we come back here to iowa live thank you studio audience